Wow, today is the day. I'm in one of the most populated cruise ship cruise ports in the world. I don't know, will I see $500 million in cruise ships? Will I see a billion dollars in cruise ships? Will I see more? Plus the cruise terminal here. I think they spent several hundred million dollars on that also. Look, are you ready for some ship spotting and port exploration? Let's go. Okay, before I roll the intro, I just realized through this whole adventure, there's a very important question about the Nassau cruise port I can answer uh, with this presentation. And that is, will I get hassled? Will I be hassled in Nassau today? So uh, now the intro. All right, so we have just disembarked from this beautiful cruise ship here, the Carnival Vista. Today we're in Nassau in the Bahamas. Here's one of the very first looks, or at least the first time in Nassau, of the new livery, the new paint scheme for the Carnival Vista, now matching much of the rest of the fleet with the blue and the white and the red. Very nice, and we are docked alongside we are docked alongside this behemoth, one of the largest cruise ships in the world. Of course, this is Royal Caribbean's Allure of the Seas. And I anticipate we'll have several ships to spot here in Nassau, plus uh, a look at the newly renovated Nassau Cruise Port Cruise Terminal. They finished the work late in 2023 uh, I think it's, I don't know if it was a billion dollars, but I think it was multi-hundred million dollar investment in the cruise port here in Nassau. So uh, yeah, we'll spot some ships, we'll go on a little walkabout, and we'll see what there is to do in the port of Nassau. Well, at least in the cruise port. I'm sure maybe these are, looks like these are people waiting for excursions possibly for the royal ship and we also have some carnival pickup stuff here too we have another big looks like royal ship right in front of us how do you guys feel about getting your picture made when you come off of the ship i think it's cool that Many of these cruise lines now have like an all-included digital package. I think if I had the all-included digital package, I would, I would take a million pictures. But I don't know about the individual printed picture if I would be that keen. I know I've said it before, and I think maybe the last time I said it was when I was in Nassau. Until you're like outside next to these cruise ships it's really hard to appreciate how massive how massive that they are it's kind of really a neat perspective i don't know how well we can see it but peeking in between these two royal mega cruise ships you get a nice little frame shot of atlantis one of the premier resorts here in Nassau. Let's see if we can get a better glimpse of it. Just kind of... Nassau, Atlantis, through the ships and the canopy. All right photo opportunity finished so I think we're at the furthest pier here in Nassau and we already have three cruise ships stacked up so this could be quite the quite the busy day wow look at this, this is a massive sea of people I can tell you already and I'm probably telling on myself, but I'm going to have some sunscreen regret today, I think. The fortunate thing about the new cruise port here in Nassau is that they have a ton of this shaded walkway. So I guess you only have a few moments 
of exposure to the sun. Liberty of the sea, she's no slouch herself. This is a pretty big cruise ship. We get up to the corner here, we'll turn around and take in the allure and the vista. Shoot, let's do it right now. Plus, we get our first look at the Disney cruise ship. I believe that's the Wish. She was in Port Canaveral with us yesterday. Look at this. Wow. Holy moly. Look at that. So, hey guys, how are you? Man, I'm just uh, enamored with these huge ships. <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much. Nice to see you. Wow. All right, we got to stop for another photo op. All right. Back on the hunt. The hunt for more cruise ships and cool cruise port experiences. Wow. Man, this is the stuff that dreams are made of for ship spotters, cruise ship lovers. So it is indeed the Disney Wish that was in port with us yesterday in Port Canaveral. Next to the Disney Wish, we have the Carnival Liberty. And then as we'll see next to the Carnival Liberty, we also have the Carnival Elation. So we got uh, quite the Carnival contingent here. Uh, three Carnival ships, one Disney ship, two Royal Caribbean. And it's, uh, it's before 10 a.m., so it would not be shocking if another cruise ship showed up to take its place in Nassau. And then you also have this, yeah, it's not tiny. Have this yacht here uh, taking up um, maybe the good like third of the length of the Liberty of the Seas. So that's no uh, joke there. And then the beautiful waters and harbor here in Nassau. Now, of course, on the dock, there's going to be some access to purchase private tours. And some of those private tours are going to leave by, leave by boat here. So you'll see people gathered up. Uh, ship excursions happen out of here also, but you're going to get a mix of private tours and ship excursions. But something, you know, if they have to go over to Atlantis or something that's reachable by boat, one of the beaches, that kind of thing. Uh, fortunately, you don't have to leave the cruise port. You just come to this spot for most most of those adventures they take you right Give there you a better look of the disney wish and all of her glory here and then a uh, little bit of an aft shot there of the carnival liberty and of course the lation one of the last of fantasy class carnival cruise ships she does look good though with the new paint scheme and i tell you what another thing i always appreciate about NASA is you get a good up close look at tugboats, which I don't know, like I, I guess people who cruise probably fall into a couple categories. I, I love everything about it. I love the, the vessels and the, the water and the experience and all that. So anytime I get to see like refueling vessels or dredging vessels or tugboats, it's kind of exciting. And NASA is a good place where you can kind of get a look at tugboats. We'll walk up on these tugs and just take a closer look. It's really amazing the role that they play in cruising. Sometimes the only thing that keeps a cruise ship out of danger and from crashing is the ability for a tugboat to keep it tugged away from something or push it into something. Uh, of course, they have these huge rubber bumpers because they will uh, they'll push a cruise ship around or they'll hook a line to it and tug it around. That one is the Samson. And then we got the Kenneth C up here. And kind of as we approach the Kenneth C, we're starting to get into the official Nassau cruise port. So it's a little bit of a hike if you're in one of the furthest back piers to get there, but nothing unreasonable. A lot of shade, a lot of seating, so you can stop along the way. And here's a nice look at the elation. 
carnival elation. Hmm. Not a lot of balconies on that one for sure. Great old cruise ship though. Pretty sure if it, if it's, I don't know the actual date, but I'm pretty sure that was built in the 1900s. The same century we got cars. I mean, it was the late 1900s, but still. And we'll pop out and look at the Kenneth C over here. This tug doesn't have quite the... Well, you know, this may not be a tug, actually. I was like, there's no bumpers. And it looks like it's got some other stuff going on. A big winch there. Wow. Could you rolling up those ropes? Can I see? I'm assuming this is a tug, but looks like it might have some other purposes. Oh, well, you know what? I think I cheated us on a look at the Liberty. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's be fair. We've ogled all the other cruise ships. Let's ogle you, Carnival Liberty. It's a nice ship too. Look at that. Iconic whale tail. Red, white, and blue paint job. Fun ship. Been on the Elation, I've been on the Liberty. I've been on the Allure. No, I haven't been on the Allure. I don't think I've been on Liberty. So, still a few ships here in port that I have not been on. Goals, hashtag goals. All right, let's uh, get ready and take a walk through this. Well, before we even get there, let's stop and point out one of the cool features of this new cruise port area is this big screen. Of course, they have announcements, but then periodically they do shows. So this is the turtle show, and so it looks like it's coming right out of the thing. Ah, sea turtle. I think there. I think this is the one where you get the. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but I think there's another sea creature going to make an appearance here. Keep your eyes peeled on the screen over there. With anticipation. It could speed it up a little bit though. Come on. We're burning daylight here. We're gonna run out of film. I'm just kidding, we're not gonna run out of film. Here, here we go. Oh, we got a big what is this? Um got a manta ray or something like that? Got a nice manta ray. Oh, look at that. Comes to life. In 3D, you don't even need the 3D glasses. I don't know. I don't know if this is interesting to see or not, but I do believe there's one more sea creature. Then we'll move on. Sorry that this is dragon. The next sea creature is not a dragon, though. But uh, here we go. Let's see what's going to happen. Ah. Uh. Ah. Ooh, look at this. Big squid. Squiddy, squiddy. Don't ink me, bro. Don't ink me. I think he's going to ink us, if I remember. No, it doesn't ink us. I really thought we were going to get inked there. I still think there's one more creature. All right, let's walk a little closer. Too much time in one space here. I'm getting bored myself. What? We, oh, it's over. That was it. The big squid was it. All right, there's another. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah. Oh, it wasn't over. They tricked us. Look at this big shark. Ah! <laughs> I don't think he's done. He's coming out of the... Ah! Ah! Oh, he came again. Look at that. It's not real, folks. It's all good. 
That's cool. Pretty neat. All right. I mean, even with that, you've probably been thoroughly entertained enough to go back to the cruise ship. But, the, but wait, there's more. There's more to do. There's more to see in the Nassau port. Let's, uh, let's uh, walk through the entrance here. We'll get our bearings. And uh, the tour will continue. This is the official arrivals terminal. Would that be terminus in Latin? I don't know. They're not doing the Latin. All right, either. so we picked the tour back up here at the entrance. The wild thing is you have to have a permit to be inside of the gate. And so you've got a decent amount of folks out there doing a little uh, enticement, calling out to taxis. Of course, you have official people that can do stuff inside here transportation dispatchers so a little bit of a competition between outside the gate and inside the gate now one of the nice features here in the port is this junkanoo new museum it's going to give you the history of the area this is for a fee but again like if you want to come to nassau and you don't necessarily want to explore outside the cruise port and you've kind of felt like, well, I just have to stay on the cruise ship because there's nothing to do or see. There is some stuff to do or see just inside this cruise port area. Again, it's fenced in. It's regulated who can be in here. And so, you know, it's, it's a nice kind of safe way to see some of Nassau. I know some folks have pushed back and like, well, what kind of, what kind of traveler tourist are you if you don't, you know, get out and experience it? But yeah, yeah it's not, not everybody has to travel the same way. So. You know, there's some people that want just a real kind of safe, easy experience. And I think you definitely get that inside this new port area. So you got sightseeing, informational tours, stuff where you can book a tour. Again, you got, you know, a fenced off area. Scooter and ATV rentals, man, you got, uh, there's so many stories out there of people that have, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people do this without any issue, but there's a few outlier stories of people having bad ATV and scooter accidents, life losing accidents. And so if you're not real familiar with those vehicles, I would say be super cautious. Of course, look, if you like to shop, you can definitely get your shop on. Got all kinds of stores, crocheted bathing suits, the Passion Tea and Coffee Company, you got hot sauces and teas jewelry got more hot sauce over there souvenirs but you can also come out here and get some local drinks best Nassau drinks in a pineapple you get drink in a pineapple this is glorious daiquiri daiquiris drink in a watermelon Drinking a pineapple. Way to go. Limeade, Bahamas. So right here you got a whole row of drinks. You got a hair braiding section over here. You get your hair braided. Hair braided wrapped. You got food out here. This is the hair braiders pavilion. It's a decent amount of people out here today. Uh-oh. Does it say Luda's place? No, Lunda's place. Linda's place. Uh, I thought this said Luda's place. Shout out Ludacris. Get some Bahamian food and conch fritters. Then you also have more of the drinks in a coconut, drinks in a pineapple. <laughs> Got local arts and crafts. Souvenirs. <laughs> ice cream shop the Bahama mama factory so like again if you want to just pop out get your drink on a little bit do some souvenir shopping go to the museum it's uh, pretty easy pretty easy to do import here then you've got even some other shops maybe a little more upscale shops or at least the the buildings are upscale Bahari I don't know that brand 
Say we claim. Isolat gelato. Oh, yeah. Looks like it maybe. I think this gelato is also a coffee shop, which is nice. Got another beachware. What do we got on this side? Bahamas hand prints. Haas assembly of Nassau. Isola gelato. I feel like on the side here they've got a coffee menu. Excuse me. Where you want to go to? Just for my own sake. Iced coffee seems like it'd be really nice right now. <laughs> there is a Starbucks in Nassau out on the street. Ah, this might not be the place I'm thinking of, but a nice little, nice little gelato shop. And then here you go, you can pop right out if you want. If you want to leave the port area, you can pop right out on the front street here in Nassau. You got the Tortuga Rum Company, or Rum Cakes. You also have the Pirate Republic uh, Beer Brewing, Sharkies. So a lot of stuff you can get into outside the port if you like, right on the front street there. But the port still has a lot to offer. As you can tell, it's, I think it's a good mix between shopping and drinks and food. Shopping probably, I say good mix, but I would say shopping probably dominates but you have the Portier official port shop. You get some Bahamian souvenirs. This is a, a restaurant, the Bamboo Shack at the port. The Bamboo Shack at the port. We have the Island Post, which looks like a bar. People getting their drink on. And then uh, over here you have the gallery, the gallery and wine bar. Gallery and wine bar. And so, yeah, just a reminder, we're still inside the official port area. This place looks interesting once it opens. The Preacher's Kid, Hamwich, Stew Crunch, Sticky Johnny Cake. This is the Port Amphitheater. Let me, let me jump in real quick before we finish off this tour. Just first to say, what what is this? Is this does that count as a towel animal? Yuck, yuck. But just to answer some questions, I did run into uh, somebody on the pier, and they told me that that yacht that we saw earlier apparently it's Steven Spielberg's yacht. How about that? Steven Spielberg, the famous director. Also, I tallied up the value of the cruise ships that we saw. I'll, I'll give that to you in the wrap up. But I do want to say this. Uh, what a hassle free experience if you just stay in the cruise port there. Certainly, it's different than if you go further. But the first time I came to Nassau, as soon as you got off the cruise ship, it would, you were just getting berated and hassled. And it made that experience a little challenging. Uh, you know, everybody's trying to earn a living. I understand that. But when you're hassled, it, it really changes the experience. I think you could have seen so far through this walk and talk that uh, very hassle free in the Bahamas. Okay, now the wrap up, the total for the cruise ships, and some final. Work. Then you have another exit area here and you can walk the whole length of the port and say you wanted to go to the straw market here in Nassau without kind of walking on that front street you can pop out right here and go to the straw market there's a currency exchange there and then straw markets kind of known for somewhat aggressive sellers but also local stuff so it's the it's kind of the thing you can go there and probably i don't know somebody maybe if you've done it i would think there might be better prices in there than here in the port just because i'm assuming that the folks in the port probably pay a premium to be in the port and then not only does the 
cruise port have docks for the cruise ships, but they also have smaller berths for smaller ships that you could get to over here. And I think the last exit of the port pops you out over there, kind of near Senior Frogs. But yeah, it's a really nice area. Like, again, if you want to just come out, get some sun, sit around a bit, get yourself a drink, get yourself some food. I mean, look how beautiful this is over here. Just, you know, it's not huge, but it's like a manicured little walkthrough area. Got seating. Um, yeah. That's not cruise port. So I, I did look it up. This cruise port costs $300 million to build. Uh, this is the latest iteration of the Nassau cruise port. And I also did some quick calculations. Over $2 billion in cruise ships for the, how many cruise ships do we see? Six cruise ships? Uh, yeah, that's some pretty sexy ship spotting. Over $2 billion in cruise ships here in the Nassau Bahamas cruise port. Do you even get off the ship in Nassau? Does this look like some place you'd like to knock around just to get out in the sun? I'd love to hear your feedback below. Thanks so much for checking out this episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, subscribe for more. This is Tony for La Lita Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.